Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and I make fragrance videos. And today's video is gonna be about rose fragrances. Finally, I wanted to make a video about this for ages. Finally, I sat down to do it. I'm gonna part this in two parts. So part one, you're gonna have your daytime, fresh and bright rose fragrance. And then the second part is gonna be the seductive, warm, deep nighttime rose. Something a bit more deeper and velvety but now let's start with our daytime rose so you're gonna have some bright fragrances some fresh ones some a bit aquatic or citrusy i love a daytime rose scent it's probably like my favorite scent of the whole world so if you want to know what fragrances that i like and that i would recommend to you then just keep on watching all right let's start with our first fragrance and one that you have very very likely heard of before and also on my channel i'm talking about delina la rose the most prettiest bottle in the whole world possibly at least to my knowledge and i'm talking about the la rose version so this one is the more spring summer appropriate one it's fresh it's floral it obviously has rose in it, it has peony as well it definitely has a juicy fruity note i believe there's pear and bergamot in here and you also get some like watery aquatic notes. It's very fresh. It's super likable, super easy to wear. For a freshie, it lasts really long. It's the perfect, perfect fragrance in my eyes for a daytime date. Also like a walk in the park, a picnic, garden party, anything like that. I think it's the most gorgeous fragrance. It definitely gets you a lot of compliments. And it is just amazing. I would absolutely recommend this to absolutely every single woman out there i love it next up we have roses de chloe which i said before i'm not certain whether or not this is discontinued recently i've seen it available again so who knows they don't tell you about whether things are discontinued or not you just have to guess and just see whether or where it's available i'm not sure you can definitely still get it here if you don't know about it already it is just the most beautiful like natural gorgeous rose scent it's like watery it smells almost a little bit like that rose water that you can use like as a toner for your face for example it's subtly sweet but very very subtle i just literally get rose petals with kind of a watery note in here there's not really a green note it's very clean it's very fresh it's like what i imagine elizabeth would wear from pride and prejudice it's just a very pretty very feminine but quite soft and subtle scent it doesn't project a whole lot it doesn't last very long to be honest so you better overspray this one i would recommend getting the big one big bottle especially since i don't know how long it's going to be available because you're going to have to spray a lot from this because yeah but it is really beautiful it's super easy to wear it is just ah like if i had one simple rose scent i would say get this one or you could go for Eau Rose by Diptyque, which is another very simple and fresh and clean rose scent. Ah, uh, it is so pretty. It's very, very similar to my nose. They are very, they are both like almost like solely floor, just a single rose scent, you know, like no other notes. I mean, there are a couple of other notes, but it really smells like you're literally smelling a rose. And with this one i would say it smells like a light pink very fresh like spring rose it's not deep it's more bright and youthful very fresh and very very beautiful this one also doesn't last that long it doesn't project that much but this is just a quiet and pretty and feminine scent if you like a fresh rose you really cannot go wrong with a rose it's so beautiful it's so likable and it's yeah like i said it's very soft it's very very wearable for every single day and could be like your signature fragrance for example so if you want something that's a little bit less sweet and a bit more fresh then i'd go for this one instead of the uh the chloe one the chloe has a little bit more of that chloe typical dna to it and then another one i want to mention to you is the eau rose eau de parfum version this is a limited edition that's still available that is significantly different from the original one 
I have to say, I do want to, I do want both. I have decans of both of them. I do want to get both of them. I'm a little bit like unsure which one I'm gonna get first because while the the eau de toilette eau rose is pretty much like a simple clean rose fragrance, with the eau de parfum you have a definite green note in it and a strong note of chamomile. This is almost more of a chamomile than a rose fragrance. Like, I remember when I first smelled this, I couldn't even smell it that strong. I don't know what was wrong with me, but then now that I've I've been wearing it regularly, I, I feel like the chamomile comes out so strong. You really get like a, a chamomile tea with some rose petals in it. And it feels very cool. Like it's a very cooling, refreshing and calming fragrance. It's not warm. To my nose it's very cool and very appropriate for spring and summer. At the same time this has, because of the chamomile to me, that always gives it kind of a calming vibe relaxing very nice but you have to like chamomile let me be clear about that if you don't like chamomile don't even try this because it's really quite a strong note so if you just want a clean rose fragrance definitely go for the eau de toilette and not the eau de parfum if you want the added chamomile note then go for the eau de parfum the eau de parfum in comparison is a little bit stronger it's a little bit deeper and it lasts thus a little bit longer as well next up i want to mention two fragrances by Jo malone and first of all, I want to say something. So I hear a lot of times in the fragrance community that people say their fragrances don't last that long. I don't know why they are saying this specifically about this brand. To my knowledge, this is not true. It really depends a lot on the fragrance. Like, yes, they have some fragrances, for example, which Wood Sage and Sea Salt, which really doesn't last very long. But the ones I'm going to share with you now, or the one I'm going to share with you now, is very long-lasting and quite potent, if you ask me. And the one I'm talking about is Red Roses by Jo Malone. I feel like this is one of their classic fragrances that they have for a long time, and one that you should definitely check out if you like roses. So this one, in comparison to the other ones, this is a little bit deeper. I feel like it's more of a red rose, hence the name Red Rose. It's a little bit deeper. It's a bit more sweet. It smells a little bit more like a sugared rose and more like a deeper, a little bit velvetier rose. Still, I see this more in the daytime because it's still on the fresher side. It's still not a very deep and heavy fragrance, but in comparison to something like Oros, for example, which is very clean and light and pink, this one is definitely deeper. It smells very elegant. This one on my skin performs pretty good and also the sillage is pretty good as well. So this one definitely lasts well, at least on my skin. And it's just a very beautiful, beautiful scent. It smells very elegant. It smells confident. It smells obviously mainly like rose. So the fragrances that I like have like a quite natural rose and this one is no different. I really, really do like when you can still, like when you have the imagination, like you're smelling an actual rose or you're in a rose garden, it's less like a synthetic rose, even though I can like that sometimes as well. But this one smells like a real, real deep rose to me. I can also get a kind of fruity, juicy vibe from this one as well, which just elevates it even a little bit more. It's a very, very nice scent. Go and smell if you haven't already. Next fragrance I'm going to recommend you is Rose Blush by Jo Malone. By the way, I think you may be, still be able to get these limited edition bottles also for the red roses. I think they're a lot prettier. So. If you're interested in these fragrances or in the whole fragrance line, check out if you can still get this. To be really honest with you, probably now I would purchase Red Roses over this one and I'll tell you why. The reason basically is less so the scent. I think they are both beautiful. I could never quite decide which one I want to get. Um, but I decided for this one and I will say that considering that the longevity and projection on this one are a lot less like a lot weaker i would actually go for red roses now but i will say though this is also a really really beautiful scent and it is similar to red roses but it's more fruity and it also has a green note i believe there is basil in here i wouldn't say that you can actually smell basil or basil i'm not sure how to say it 
uh, in here but there is something green in here it's like a little bit grassy maybe almost and definitely also more amped up on the fruity notes and this one also has a more kind of pink and delicate rose whereas the red roses is more deeper so i do like them pretty much equally but just because of the longevity i would say go for the other one and that's an important factor to you next fragrance i have here is from rituals and is rose de shiraz i have it in this cute little mini version this one is a rhubarb and a rose combination and it is very very tired and that's I don't usually love that like that's what bothers me sometimes in Delina even though I do like Delina but I have like a kind of a hate love relationship with it I generally prefer the La Rosée I find it more wearable and I always like it whereas with the Delina sometimes it's too sweet sometimes it's too sour this one works for me because it's very like it's very fresh and light so it's not sweet it's very clean very fresh it has that kind of a bit citrusy note in it it has the rhubarb obviously and obviously the rose as well so it's very fresh and it's very i think it's very wearable in the high summer heat like if you want a floral fragrance and a fruity fragrance that you can wear in the summer heat i think go for this one this is also very light so this can be good or bad that makes it very wearable in the hot months but it also means obviously it doesn't project that much and it doesn't last that long but i really really like the smell itself i think it's very beautiful it's very fresh i love fresh fragrances love fresh rose especially and i think this is so so wearable and these fragrances are very very affordable i believe they're like 50 ish or 40 even dollars maybe for the bigger size like 50 mil i think so i think you're really getting a pretty good deal here and yeah next fragrance i'm just gonna mention it quite briefly because it's definitely discontinued for a while but it's like such a kind of a cult classic almost i feel like it's flora botanica by balenciaga and this is the fragrance if you like a green rose this is very green to my nose is almost is more green than it's rosy actually at least to my nose and it's also kind of like watery and aquatic it smells like wet green grass and it definitely has a very like still almost like green rose like just you know starting to blossom and this fragrance also has a cannabis note that i do get i have to say so this is not going to be for everyone and also it's probably not available anyway i still wanted to mention it because i feel like it is a very interesting fragrance i feel like it smells quite unisex it's very very clean it has no sweetness whatsoever and it is unique like this fragrance is quite recognizable next up i want to mention fleur musque by narciso rodriguez for her the eau de toilette florale this is a really nice scent i think for the spring and summer very easy super clean it's like an icy musky rose scent it's very very cold very frosty like it's really nice when it's hot outside also in the winter actually but it is a light scent this is not a strong scent it's almost like a skin scent but i think it kind of blends in the skin very beautiful it's almost like you're smelling like yourself but just a bit better you know i think that happens a lot with musky fragrances they're like almost a bit skin like and with this one with the fresh rose and the musk in it i think it's very beautiful and also a very good fragrance for every day if you don't mind that it is quite weak performing i have to say i do love the bottle as well with this frosted glass and yeah i do really like it but the performance is not that great next fragrance that i definitely have to mention how could i make a rose video without this fragrance is tea rose by perfumers workshop this fragrance smells like a literal rose a tea rose to be exact i think this perfume is quite old maybe it's from the 70s or so i believe and it really just smells like a rose there's not much else to it but it's very very much in your face this is not like eau rose or this is not like red roses this is like something else it is <laughs> being beaten up with roses it's really really strong 
I do sometimes get a slightly like plasticky metallic kind of note or something like that like I don't know like I get it like every once in a while for some reason I don't know what's up with that but generally I think this is a gorgeous gorgeous scent like I'm not joking when I say that I really love it but obviously you have to love rose fragrances and you have to be able to deal with this ugly bottle as well but if you can handle it it is gorgeous and it's really really strong it's really really cheap so if you're a rose lover like come on guys you have to own this like really if you like a naturalistic rose that's strong and that will last you well you cannot live without this it's really really beautiful I don't know what occasion you would wear this I feel like more it's more of an outside fragrance because yeah it's just rose right so I feel like this is less like for going out or for like the office no I think you're gonna bother people <laughs> in the office with this I think this is more if you're outside in nature in a garden in a rose garden or just wherever this is an outside fragrance to me absolutely gorgeous Next up we have A La Rose by Maison Francis Kirchjohn. Sorry if I'm not saying that right. And I just have a sample of this fragrance. I'm just gonna spray it right here. I've tested this multiple times though. And I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. So this one, oh, it smells like the most elegant, but like very simplistic, clean rose scent. I do detect some citrusy notes as well in the opening and it definitely has a relatively woody dry down, at least on my skin. I don't really detect a lot of sweetness. This is like the personification, not personification, I guess the perfume version of like a very elegant woman to me. But somebody like she's, you know, she's not like out there with like big brand names like flashy and all that stuff no it's like more the you know wearing like beige or like light pink white more clean a clean aesthetic like more understated but this is actually also really wearable for men like i don't think it's particularly feminine or masculine i think it's pretty unisex the woodiness and the, the absence of sweetness definitely makes it wearable for men as well it just generally smells like something very very elegant and also a little bit more mature i would say maybe 30 and up would be the age i would recommend this to yeah it's just a really really beautiful fragrance and if you're a rose lover definitely definitely worth checking out if you haven't already next fragrance i want to mention is maison Rebachi rose Rebachi. This fragrance to me reminds me of like an afternoon party, like maybe an outside party or just something that it's not quite nighttime, it's more daytime, but it's more like afternoon and party time. And the reason is because I find this to be a very sparkling rose fragrance. So this has almost like a champagne, like prickly, sparkling vibe to me. It also obviously has the rose note, but it also has like a raspberry fruity note to it i guess it kind of smells like a cocktail that's probably why i'm associating it with that definitely smells like joyful and bright but more for like uh, some kind of event type of thing i think this smells very beautiful i think this would work very well in warm weather because while it's relatively sweet and kind of fruity it's you know it has that kind of cool sparkling note to it so it's very appropriate i think for summer parties and then last but not least i have Edo le parfum the original i actually own the aura version of this one but i like the parfum almost as much as i like the aura so this fragrance actually i'm gonna spray it on myself i think um i feel like this is such a good everyday floral fragrance it's so clean it's a little bit sweet it has a little bit of something like fresh washing shampoo it's such an easy to wear everyday kind of fragrance it definitely has a detectable rose note in it but it also has like some other florals so it's not like totally like rose forward it's more like a mixture it's very fresh it's very clean it's very good for everyday very pretty and feminine and easy to wear 
I would say it does smell quite mainstream, to be really honest with you, but I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. That just mean that just means to me that it's wearable for a lot of occasion. It's usually not the type of fragrance that is starting to annoy you. It's very easy to wear. Just spray it on and go out. You can wear this for a lot of occasion. And yeah, this is the same with this fragrance to me. I think it's very pretty. It's just a simple floral, a little bit fruity and fresh and clean scent that you can wear pretty much every day. Okay guys, that was it for my daytime rose fragrance video. I hope you liked it. Please give it a like if you did. Please consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope you stay tuned for my next part two nighttime rose video. Bye bye.